Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. Uh, last week, we have covered example number two during the lecture class. Yeah? Example number two, we have looked into um, loading uh, calculation of main reinforcement, um, shear reinforcement and such. Okay, and finally, we already have the this one. I mean, I mean the apa, the design yang kita dah buat tu. So, kita dah dapat. Okay, <coughs> that one for example number two. So, today, we're going to look at uh, example number three. Okay, um, so what we learn in tutorial class, that one will be, will be covered in tutorial class only. So, maksudnya yang kita calculate together, that one, uh, kita akan belajar lagi dalam tutorial class. Maksudnya saya sambung dalam tutorial class lah. So for today class, I mean for lecture class, saya akan masuk example number 3 terus eh. Okay, so a 180 mm wide singly reinforced concrete beam is required to transmit an ultimate bending moment of 150 um, meter, inclusive of its own weight. Meaning it have like 150 here. 180 wide meaning the B is 180 150 is uh, ultimate bending moment which is M the beam is composed of grade 30 concrete with high yield reinforcement using simplified stress block formula given in BS 8110 part 1 determine the depth amount of steel and sketch cross section Okay, so this kind of question sebenarnya, what you want you to calculate ya. Yeah? Uh, dia tak perlu, kita tak perlu calculate sampai shear reinforcement. It just covered up, up until the um, bending reinforcement ya. Yeah? Sebab dia tak ada cakap kat sini, so cari shear reinforcement or whatsoever. It just stated here that determine the amount of steel, meaning amount of steel here means S saja ya. Yeah? Tak payah calculate S. Uh, Eh, sorry, ASV lah. Tak payah calculate ASV over SV tu. Okay, so kita calculate uh, area of steel saja. Maksudnya, bending reinforcement punya steel lah. Ataupun main steel lah. Okay, so we have like, <coughs> dia dah bagi. Here, B it is equal to 180. Okay, and D tak tahu. H also not given. Tak ada. Nothing. So, dia tak bagi but in this question, dia bagi value of M which is 150 kN meter. So, you can just simply use this value of M to dapatkan whatever that we want dengan value of M ni sahaja. <laughs> okay. So, how we going to do that? So, maksudnya kita akan kira lah. Okay. Um, so, first thing first, dia nakkan value of D. So, what we need to do first, <coughs> kita akan kira main steel dia. Okay. So, kita tahu sebab loading dah tak payah kira. Why? Sebab dia dah bagi M. Okay. Macam kalau you ingat sebelum ni, you kira uh, the ultimate, um, ultimate, apa nama tu? <laughs> ultimate load. Okay. You dah dapat 1.4 GK plus 1.6 GK, that one. Okay. You kira ni kan dulu. Lepas tu, you akan kira bila dia dapat W dan you akan kira M. Okay, bla bla bla. So, sekarang M ni given. Okay, so W memang dia tak bagi anything, any information about W pun tak ada and also dia bagi M. So, kita just ambil the value of M uh, to calculate the area of steel. <coughs> Macam tu je. Very simple. <coughs> okay. Uh, <coughs> first, okay. If you see here, this formula, you present this is ultimate moment resistance punya formula. Okay, MU. So, ultimate moment resistance, we know that, okay, beam size macam ni boleh support moment banyak ni. Betul. Okay, but right now, <coughs> the moment, normally kita akan kira M must be less than MU. Betul ya? Yeah? This is how we calculate M is still less than MU. So, sekarang kita kena cari Kita akan cari value of D using this formula. How we do that? So, sebab kita nak tahu, kita dah tahu 
M is still less than MU because MU tu adalah maksimum. We cannot exceed MU sebab MU tu uh, sebanyak tu yang beam tu boleh resist as a singly reinforced concrete beam. Okay. So kita akan cari kita must make sure M ni um, bila kita design tu maksudnya kita mesti make sure yang D tu takkan lebih <laughs> sorry takkan kurang daripada minimum size yang boleh resist moment. Macam tu eh. So maksudnya sekarang MU ni Okay you replace MU ni dengan M Okay Masukkan je M Okay So masuk je 0156 FCU given dalam soalan Kat sini dah kata grade 30 concrete So we know that the FCU is I tulis lah 30 Newton over mm square And also given in the question that it is a high yield reinforcement. So you know that FY akan jadi 460. Okay. So this is what given. Okay. Ingat eh. I malas nak, nak pusing-pusing ke belakang balik. <coughs> so kita dah ada this, uh, this thing. So kita masukkan je 30 newton over mm square inside the FCU. B is 180 given in the question. Okay, and D, benda yang kita nak cari. Okay, apa, kenapa you rasa, miss kenapa macam ni, miss pening kepala saya, ah, that kind of thing. But you know, you just make sure because you know that size macam ni boleh resist load banyak ni. Macam tu kan, itu maksudnya MU kan. Macam sebelum ni saya cakap, if let's say effective dive dia macam, macam, macam ni, size macam ni, B dia macam ni, so dia boleh resist moment banyak ni. So sekarang ni, bila kita dapat... Um, bila kita tak tahu D So kita just uh, apa? Kita just uh, Design to the maximum Maksudnya Kita design So kita limitkan Moment tu Supaya jadi 150 ni Maksudnya Moment yang given by the load tadi tu Loading 150 tu Kita akan design dia as maximum lah Maksudnya kita guna value moment tu Untuk dapatkan D So that D kita Contohnya macam ni Okay D so uh, kita pun kira So kita dapat 421.975 So normally I akan suruh you Round up betul So you kena round You tak boleh round down Okay Kat sini never ever round down <laughs> Jangan round down Okay because kalau you round down Maksudnya sekarang ni Okay Bila you kira uh, You round it up Maksudnya I letak 425 eh Okay, 425. So, bila you kira value of K, so after that kita akan kira value of K. Normally, what we, that, what, that's what, what we do kan. So, kita kira, kira value of K. Kita akan dapat 0 0.538 which is less than 0 0.156. Why dia less? Sebab sepatutnya kat sini kan perasan tak? Kalau kita bagi 0.156 ni, dia akan jadi kat sini 0.156 lah kan. Tapi sebab kita round up dia, value dia akan lebih kurang. Okay, akan kurang daripada 0 0.156. So, tapi for example lah, eh, kalau kalau kita round it down. Okay, contohnya kita dapat 421.6, kita round down dia jadi 420. Contoh lah, eh, this is example only. 420, kita letak 420 kat sini. Okay, for this one, for MU ni, kita letak 420. Okay, but later on, when you calculate the value of K, I bagi contoh saja. Okay, so we use the same thing. Newton mm divide by 30 Newton over mm square times 180 mm darab 420 mm. 420, I said that. Mm power of 2. Okay, so you akan dapat value ni akan jadi lebih daripada 0.156. Okay. We dapat here 0 0.157 hmm, 157 lah. Okay, value ni maksudnya dia dah lebih daripada 0.156 which is kita tak nak. Dia lebih daripada 0.156 dia. It means that it exceed the value of K prime. Maksudnya sekarang you tak boleh design dia as singly. Dia dah jadi doubly. Okay, sebab kalau you masih ingat kita compare dengan 0 0.156 Kalau kata kita kira MU sebelum ni, kita akan compare dengan 0 0.156 Which is the 
um, sorry, kita akan compare dengan value of mu. So, kita must make sure m is less than mu and k is also less than k prime. Okay, when this happen, ini akan jadi. Kalau ini, you kira dia yang lebih besar daripada mu, maksudnya k ni automatik akan lebih besar daripada k prime. Ini memang dia punya rules lah. So, that's why kita round up. Maksudnya, bila kita tinggikan lagi value of D, maksudnya you punya beam akan jadi lebih tinggi. Maksudnya dia boleh resist bigger load. Okay. Kalau you kecilkan dia, you round down beam you, D dia akan lebih kecil. Maksudnya sekarang ni, you mengecilkan beam you, beam you tak boleh jadi singly lagi sebab K tu dah less than, dah bigger than K prime. Okay. Ataupun sebenarnya M tu kalau you kira M lebih besar daripada MU. Okay. Sebab kalau you letak 420 kat sini. Okay. I cerita lagi so that you boleh faham betul-betul. Kalau you tak faham mungkin you boleh tanya later. In our tutorial class. Okay. You take note lah mana you nak tanya. Okay. So macamnya macam ni eh. Mm, okay. Okay. Katakan you dah round up, round up dia to M to apa 400. You round down dia 420. So, bila kalau kata kita kira MU balik eh. 156 FCUB D square. So, you pun letak 0.156 times FCU. So, FCU is 30. And then you times 180. And then you times the D. So D here you dah kata okay. You round down dia 420. <coughs> Power of 2. Aish. Okay. Okay. So I kat sini I dapat 1, 4, 8, 5, 9, 9, 3, 6, 0. Newton mm which is equal to 1, 4, 8. 0.599 kilo newton meter. Okay, kalau you compare. Okay, perasaan MU adalah 150. Okay, tapi MU 148. So, M lagi besar dari MU. So, this is, this this proof that yang kat sini dapat K ni sebenarnya lebih besar daripada K prime kalau you pakai D 420. That's why kita kena round up in this, this case eh. Round it up. Okay, kalau you tengok sebelum ni pun bila kita kira apa eh, value of D kebanyakannya kita round up. Okay, tapi ada satu case macam yang kita kira example number one, D tu kita round down betul. Tapi itu kalau dia bagi H. Okay, here H not given, D not given, kita um, design to the maximum kita design uh, beam tu supaya size tu boleh resist load banyak tu. Maksudnya, boleh resist 150. Okay. Sebenarnya size ni kita mungkin boleh besarkan lagi D ni. Kita boleh besarkan dia. Ini adalah minimum. Maksudnya 421 ni. Untuk support load banyak ni, kita kena letak 421. Kalau kita letak less, M akan lagi besar daripada M. Ataupun M is less than. So we don't want that. Okay, I hope you understand that. Never mind. If you don't understand, you can always ask. Okay. <coughs> okay, and then uh, we calculate the value of K. So I, here I get the 0 0.1538. Just put whatever the value that you have earlier. Okay. Here I termis Newton mm. Okay. <coughs> uh, this one sebenarnya you pakai je lah 0 0.154. I saja je. Konon-konon macam like very precise. <laughs> Okay, and then you just put uh, inside the Z value, uh, the Z formula. Okay, just replace the value of K inside the Z formula. Okay, then you get 0 0.78, uh, check, which is less than 0 0.95D. So, when it is less, you use 0 0.78 to calculate the AS. Okay, so, masuk dalam formula AS, you have that, oh my god. Here again, I tak tukar. It's supposed to be 0 0.95. Okay. 0 0.95 eh. Yeah. AS equal to 0 0.95 FYZ. Okay. Masukkan saja inside the formula. So you know that uh, the value of FY is 460. K 
case dia dah cakap high tensile steel maksudnya F4 ialah 460 and the Z, value of Z 0.78 D so kita dah dapat D kita 425 replace 0.78 D tadi inside this one lah okay and then you calculate okay here I correct balik silap eh kat sini it is 1035.443 mm square <coughs> so that is the value okay and then what we need to do we need, we need to refer to the uh, what we call it cross section table okay when we have this um as we can finally find what um, proper numbers of bar and um, size there but first we have to refer again to our question here dalam soalan ni ada any uh, indication that they minta you have to use this size this size or this size tak ada eh okay this is what given okay the size uh, sorry the b here tapi tak ada langsung mention anything about bar size so you can use any size that you are pleased lah Okay, yang you suka. Um, so, here I select to Y32 but first of all kita tengok kita punya S which is 1035.443. Okay, uh, I wrote it, I write it down here. 1035.443 is it? Betul tak? Yeah, okay. And so that is the as that we need. <coughs> we have like uh, other options sebenarnya. Kita boleh pakai. Uh, here I use 2Y32. You can also use 3Y25. Okay. Mm. Other than that you can choose any other. Mungkin 4Y20. <laughs> Up to you. Okay. But as what I mentioned kita kena check spacing. Anything kena check spacing. Okay, and also kita juga kena, ya yeah, kita check spacing and also uh, kalau tak allow, mungkin kita boleh buat stacking. Okay, sebab so, yeah, question yang ni example number 3, kita tak ada masalah um, H tu tak cukup. Contohnya macam example number 1 eh. Um, sebab kita um, tak diberi D, tak diberi H. So, kita kira from scratch, kita cari D. Lepas kita cari D, kita tak ada buat any assumption langsung pasal sama ada dia adalah double layer or single layer bar. Kita tak ada buat assumption langsung. So, kita boleh, there's a flexibility mungkin kita boleh design dia as bar yang stacking lah. Okay, tak ada masalah. Okay, but here I choose 2Y32. Mungkin kalau you rasa nak choose 3Y25. Okay lah, kita choose 3Y25. <laughs> This is for example only eh. Because maybe you rasa spacing dia okay nak pakai 25. Up to you. Okay so kita kira 3Y25. Kita cubalah. Okay this is example only. So spacing. I have like 180mm. Dia punya we, uh, breadth. So we have like eh, minus eh. Sorry, minus 3 times 25mm. Okay, and I have to minus lagi dengan 2 darat 25 mm which is the concrete cover and we have to minus with 2 darat 10 mm which is the um, link. So here kita assume lah link ni 10 mm eh. Uh, because uh, for this example kita tak payah kira link, kita tak payah kira shear reinforcement eh. And then we divide with 3 minus 1 which is the number of bar minus 1. Okay, and kita calculate ya. Eh. So here sebenarnya I dapat 17.5. Okay, which is this one. Okay, sebenarnya tak bagus eh. Bukan tak bagus. Sebenarnya this one tak boleh. Okay, because of this value is lower than HAGG plus 5mm. Which is kalau... Uh, aggregate size 20mm campur 25mm you akan dapat 25mm so size yang ni 
lebih besar sebenarnya dan uh, lebih kecil daripada uh, aggregate size tambah 5 mm. Okay, jadi tak okay. Okay, not okay. So that's why I pilih 2Y32. Okay, ataupun sebenarnya you boleh pilih part Y20 tapi you buat dia as stack bar lah. Okay, maksudnya ada dua layer bar. You boleh opt for that. Okay. Uh, but in our case here, that's why I pilih 2Y32. Okay, when I choose 2Y32, okay, kat sini I nampak lagi ada saya salah buat benda. Oh, I salah mirror. Okay. Um, so, so 2Y32. So, here tak boleh lah. Okay. So, that's why I rasa uh, nak senang hidup. Kalau tak senang, you boleh je pilih. Sebab dia tak ada state any nak um, bar size apa-apa eh. So, kita boleh select any numbers. Mungkin okay, I boleh je pilih part Y20 Lepas tu I buat stack bar Okay but I nak cara jalan mudah <laughs> I ambil 2Y32 So for 2Y32 So I, here I get that AS is 1610 Here lah Okay so 1610 um, And then I calculate the spacing 180 adalah dia punya breadth Minus dengan 2 numbers of bar Times 32mm diameter Okay and I minus dengan 2 Because of you have uh, two sides of um, uh, concrete cover Kanan dan kiri eh And then you also have that uh, Kanan dan kiri maksudnya sebab you punya link pun berpusing kan So we have like right and left uh, Link Two numbers uh, Bukan two numbers ni <laughs> Dia one number Tapi uh, you faham lah sebab dia berpusing kan So dia ada kanan dan kiri 10mm 10mm tu Okay And then uh, numbers of bar minus dengan 1 So you dapat 2 minus 1 So jadi 1 lah uh, Below eh Kat bawah ni kita bahagikan ni Alright So I dapat 46mm So 46mm ni bukan I compare dengan this one So you re remember I cakap Bila bar size more than 25 So obviously um, HAGG you maximum adalah 25 kan HAGG tu adalah Aggregate size plus 5mm Tapi aggregate size plus 5mm ni uh, adalah sama dengan 25 Tapi bar size tu lebih besar pada 25 So kita akan compare dengan bar size instead Okay this is why we compare with bar size Okay So kat sini bukan HAG, uh, aggregate size plus 5 Here is bar size lah Okay Which is 32mm Okay So 46mm is bigger than 32mm Sebab kita pakai bar size 32 So kita pakai, kita compare dengan bar size 32 Sebab bar size tu lagi besar daripada Aggregate size plus 5mm Okay that's the reason Okay 32mm here Okay compare dengan this one Alright so meaning this is good Okay already good spacing is enough So next step we have to calculate the hash Because kita nak design dia Sebab kita nak lukis dia supaya jadi macam inilah Okay so to do that to do this kita have to calculate the h so to calculate the h um h equal to d plus this is the formula okay d plus uh, half bar plus uh, link link diameter plus c tak kisahlah u tunggal langgang kan dia macam mana pun maksud dia tetap sama okay macam nilah formula and then you masukkan ikut value yang you dapat tadi so here I dapat 476mm So because of 476mm Kita tak ada cakap okay Bar, uh, sorry beam size adalah 180mm darab 476mm Okay tak ada because normally For H kita akan round up dia Supaya dia jadi nombor yang genap Okay kita tak nak nombor 476 Okay kita tak nak nombor 471 477 Don't want that So kita round up dia jadi part 7, eh, 6. Eh, sorry, 4, 8, kosong. So, here I round it up to 4, 8, 0. Okay. After that, I boleh draw lah. So, here, sebelum ni I dah explain 2Y12 ni tak bermaksud apa-apa eh. This one ada, bukan compression bar. Okay, this one hanyalah hanger bar. Okay. For the sake of connection sahaja. Okay, so we put it like 2Y12 for hanger bars. And we have like 2Y32 here for our tensile uh, bar, tension bar. Okay, tension bar. 2Y32. And then oh, the B that we have is 180. Okay, and the D kita, yang kita kira earlier, okay, is 425. And you know that sebenarnya value H you adalah, you dah kira tadi 48, kosong. Okay, kat sini. 
480 you know and also du425 kita dah tahu so 425480 okey so 425 480 mana tak ada okey so 480 ni apa benda ni so 480 kalau you minus dengan 425 you akan dapat this 55mm balance ni Okay, daripada mungkin benda ni tak betul sikit <laughs> okay. so 55mm balance and here also I um, I apa label this link R10 links ikut our assumption masa kita kira H ok kita kira H kita dah kata links adalah uh, 10mm diameter and bila mile steel dia adalah R eh tak ada R kat depan ok so that will be all for example number 3. So hopefully you can understand this. If you don't understand, you can always ask me. No problem. Alright. Thank you so much. Have a nice day everyone. And we have uh, another, apa nama tu? Another recorded video after this. Because kita dua jam kan ni. So kita kena belajar sampai habis lah. Okay. Thank you. Bye.